So they have this woman, you know, of Asian descent that's speaking about slavery. And because a lot of black people are talking about reparations and, you know, they see in headway that's going with the California reparations commission, more and more, um, you know, state governments and even local governments are talking about different reparation programs, even though we have to stay on top of those programs to make sure they are reparations, not some sort of, you know, um, trick. They're trying to pull on black people say, Hey, this is reparations that includes everybody. Cause everybody's ancestors wasn't slaves in this land. So some of these other groups, you know, are coming out making these statements about it. Now, case in point, this woman here, I want y'all to hear what she has to say. Hi, hello. This is going to be shocking for many of you to hear, but did you know that black people are not the only race to have historically experienced slavery? I know this is shocking, but pretty much every civilization in the history of mankind, at some point their ancestry owns, owned slaves. Because slavery was a worldwide human rights issue for a very, very long time, for many centuries. So it doesn't matter if you're white, black, Asian, Hispanic, whatever, very likely at some point your ancestry down the line owned slaves. Doesn't make it right, but that was just the way of the world for a very, very long time. So all these comments like, you're not black, you can't speak about slavery, it doesn't matter what color your skin is. Slavery was a human rights issue across the world, across all races and all civilizations for a long time. And the United States was one of the first countries to abolish it very quickly and efficiently. So all the comments about being a non-black person, you can't speak about slavery. Every single civilization has experienced slavery at some point. Our response to what we talk about as, you know, slavery here in the United States of America is what everybody was a slave at one point in time. I don't care. We don't even care. What that got to do with the United States of America has nothing to do with it at all. The United States of America enslaved black people, not all those other people that you're talking about. They had Japanese people in internment camps and they got paid a reparation for it too. And it wasn't even that long, but lady in this country, they had a thing called the Chinese exclusion act. Now I'm not saying she's Chinese, but, Chinese represented all Asians at one point in time. And they wouldn't even let Asians into this country at all. At all. We'll let no Asians. Then when they started to let Asians in, they only said Asian women could come in, not Asian men. Okay. Black folks and their hard work and effort fighting for people, not just for themselves, but for non-white people as well, which is include Asian people. They come over here they do good for themselves. And then they want to turn around and wag their finger at black folk. Now the question I have for all groups of people and no one could answer this question because it's actually a rhetorical question, but I still like to see if they can answer it. What has black America done to any group that have an issue with us? He, he, look, the white supremacists, I'm don't, not putting them in it because, you know, we didn't do them nothing to them. But these other groups, like, what did we do to the Asian community? We didn't drop a bomb in Nagasaki. The white supremacists did that. We don't have your people working in uh, sweatshops. We didn't do that, okay? We didn't go over there and, and, and just do whatever the hell we want in your countries literally colonizing and taking from you for a very, very long time. We have never done that. We have never violated your women in mass. We, we've never uh, uh, just killed a bunch of y'all in mass. We never did any of that as black America, but yet y'all have more smoke for black America and y'all want to actually get all close to chummy up, marry the group of people that did those things to your community. Please make that make sense. Please. It doesn't make sense to get with the people that done things to your people and be against the people who've never done nothing to you as a collective of people. That's why anyone that have an issue quote unquote with black people talking about these other groups, we should be very hostile toward them because of that, because we haven't done them anything. See, if we've done them something, I'll be, I'll say, listen, we have. Now, this is what some of them could say. Well, this person committed a crime. Really? And what neighborhood were you in when those crimes were committed? Oh, your business was in a black neighborhood? Oh, well, statistics show that 
the perpetrator of the crime is going to be in the proximity of the majority of the people. So if you have your businesses in a predominantly black area, nine times out of 10, a criminal may be black. If you had your business in a predominantly white area, nine times out of 10, the, the criminal would be white. If you had it in a Hispanic area, had it in your own area, Asian, it would be predominantly the representation of that people. It's just that simple. Some of them will say, oh, well, black people are lazy. Even if black people was the laziest group of people on the face of the earth, how does that affect you? How does it affect you? It affects them, but it doesn't affect you. Actually, I love lazy people. You know why I love lazy people? Because there's one person I don't have to compete with. I wish more people become lazy. It's awesome for me because when people just want to be just straight up lazy, they will be quicker to be consumers, which benefits people who create business, right? So how, how does lazy people hurt you? How? The fact is you use the talking points of white supremacy because you could think about it. We haven't done you anything. And the fact is because you took it, the talking points of white supremacy and the ideology of white supremacists who bombed, who bombed your nations, who done your, your people wrong. This is why you having a bug of your butt behind us getting reparations or talking about reparations because they have trained you that black folks, whatever black folks get, you're going to get too. And they know good and well, they won't qualify at all for it. They can't even pull a $5 black American card. They can't. So of course they're going to be against it. Black folks need to fight fire with fire. And what I seen during this time of Biden, when he first got in office, they demonized and lied on black America, lied saying that we was attacking uh, Asian people. And you look at the FBI numbers, they wasn't even attacked the most we were. And the number one perpetrator of, of hate crimes against Asians were white people. But the, but the Democrat party never came out and said any of that. CNN, all of them got with it and the demonized black America. And I think black America should never forget that. Now, as I said before, I'm going to see, repeat this again, because I got some people in the back of the room that go try to send me a message about this. If you are a person of Asian descent that rock with us and you about the truth and you against this sort of thing, I'm with you. I am with you. I, I'm, you know, like that with you. Trust me, I am. But for those who are trying to side with the white supremacists, no, you gonna get called out. You'll get called to the carpet. If you also come to my page, call me a name. That's an instant block. No matter what platform you send it to me on. If you call me a name, I'm blocking you because you were so feeble minded that you could not even articulate a point that you got to go to name calling. We did. That's that old Democrat crap. Just call a person a name. Don't articulate what you feel is, is, is wrong and why you want to give it a difference of an opinion to what you heard. That's what an adult would do. But immediately you go to name calling. I won't even read your message. I won't even listen to you. Okay. I'm just letting you know that just in case you send me any messages. Just in the future. I've been getting a few messages here lately. I, I ruffled a few feathers, you know, with some of them, um, about that video that we posted on this channel about the, um, the white mom that was looking for black women to solve her issue. But I was just letting everybody know that ahead of time, you call me a name, any kind of name, you talk bad about my family or, or my kid, whoever that's immediate block. I don't talk to people that's hostile and I, I don't give my energy to negativity because I'm about living in peace. Just that simple. But y'all let me know in the comments y'all think about, you know, this situation here, you know, this woman, you know, she got some nerve. Like I say, she needs to go back to her homeland and worry about fixing her homeland instead of worrying about what black Americans are talking about.